if, if you want to rise, identify gates in your field of calling and stick to them. A gate that belongs to you, stick to it. That's why if you understood these things, you honor mentorship with your life because you will know that the next phase is in this man's life in some way. That never eliminates the Holy Spirit. I'm giving you structure. Okay, it's all right. You find us. And on that, what does it say? The gates, the gates. The gates of hell shall not prevail against it. So hell here is a spiritual kingdom of Satan. And Jesus tells us the spirituality of Satan is controlled by gates. He's telling you that. In Psalm 24, open your lives, you gates. He says that a lot of times. So he's now giving us an indication that the spiritual world is a gate battle. So it tells you then, no matter how much grace you have, Samson showed us how to deal with a city. Samson is bound, then they lock the gate. The Bible says he carried, he broke the gate. In, in Isaiah 45, Cyrus will come and break the gates of iron. Jesus says, I have the keys. So if Jesus has the keys, what are they for? Jesus never obtained the keys of life and death for those. The blood of Jesus is the key for you as the devil. But against the kingdom of darkness, he tells Peter, I'll give you keys. Keys. Keys to gates. So which means whatever level of life you want to attain in the spiritual world, there's a gate kept against you. If it's delay, there's a power and there's a gate of delay against you. What is the major key you use there? Number one is purity. Number two is prayer. This is the combination that forms power. 